What's going on, everybody? Crazy Dog back for another video. And, um, yeah, I saw Dashi's video, and it honestly put me to sleep because, um, I honestly couldn't understand a word he said. And you know why? Because all I heard was, meow, 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 yeah, it's pretty sad. All that's all I heard. Whenever a Bengals fan speaks, that's that's all I hear. Mhm. Mm and I can still. S I went down to Cincinnati over the summer to go watch some high. Or you know, earlier this fall to go watch some high school football. Watch a Cincinnati high school team take on a California high school team, and I could still smell the tears from all the Bengals fans from the from that Pittsburgh Steelers game. And I'll tell you one thing is. Being a Browns fan, it was pretty satisfying to know that we aren't the only team that gets snake bitten in this state. It's good to know that there's another team in Ohio that can get snake bitten as easily as we can. I remember last year in the Steelers game, Steelers Bengals, Bengals ahead. You know they thinking, yeah, man, we got this, we got this, man, we gonna go to the second round. For the first time in like 20 plus years. But in typical, in Browns fashion, they somehow find a way to screw it up. So you can kind of say the Bengals pulled a Browns. Hmm, must be an Ohio thing. I mean, we're pros at screwing things up. When the Bengals do it, that's sad. And they've done it a lot. Hence, they're like what, 0-7 in the playoffs? And yet somehow... Marvin Lewis is still your head coach. Has he had to perform some naughty acts to keep his job? Or is the owner of the Bengals just that much of a cheapskate that he doesn't want to get rid of his coach and would rather go 0-20 in the playoffs than have to go through the process of hiring another coach? Hmm, I wonder. The Browns can barely keep a coach for two years. I wish we could keep a coach for that long without winning a playoff game. I mean, of course, we probably would have won a playoff game sooner or later because we're not the Bengals. Oh, but you're the Browns. But we're still the, you know, we're the technically the older franchise in Ohio, of course. If it wasn't for Art Modell firing Paul Brown, there would be no Bengals because Paul Brown wouldn't have wanted to seek revenge on Art Modell and he wouldn't have went to Cincinnati of all places and build a team. But, you know, that's all behind us now. But still, man. Dashy coming out here. Acting like his crap don't stink. Like his team hasn't done crap in the playoffs. Which they haven't done crap in the playoffs. Sure, they've made it. But they've lost in the first round. Yeah. They haven't won a playoff game since 1991 against the Oilers. I think it was. Yeah. That's pretty sad. You know, I know we haven't won one since 94 against the Patriots. Heck, our head coach was Bill Belichick. But you can thank Art Modell for that because he moved the team to Baltimore. So in words, Art Modell is responsible for two of our biggest rivals. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Art. No wonder we hate him so much. And we still do, by the way. Even though he's passed. But yeah, we still hate Art Modell. In case you didn't know. But if you ask me which team I hated the most out of the three teams in our division, you'd be surprised. It's not the Steelers. Granted, I hate their guts. It's not the Ravens. I mean, they are the old Browns, but still. I hate the Bengals a thousand times more than the other two teams. Simply because we have to share a state with them. I hate the Ravens because they stole our team. I hate the Steelers just because, well, they're the Steelers. You know, when you're you're born a Cleveland, you know, if you were born a Browns fan, you were bred to hate the Steelers. And then you look down south and you see those ugly helmets, the tiger-striped helmets, and, you know, Vontez perfect, always taking cheap shots at people. Then you just grow to hate the Bengals. 
I mean, ever since Chad Johnson feebishly tried to jump in the dog pound and he had beer spilt on him, which was honestly hilarious. Although some people would say that was an inside job because he got permission from the dog pound leaders to do that. And I honestly don't know why they just didn't push him out like that. One Browns fan did a few years ago when he pushed, I think it was Jeremy Hill out of the end zone, out of the dog pound. That was pretty funny. But, <laughs> you know, you would not see Bengals fan. You wouldn't see Browns players jumping into the jungle. <laughs> but whatever, you know. If I had to give you a prediction for this game, I'm going to say Browns get the dub as always. I say it's going to be a good game. I'm going to say a TP to a prior. Goes for almost 200 yards. He's going to score two touchdowns. Cody Kessler's probably going to have over 300 100 yards. Um... I think Isaiah Crowell is going to get back on the track. Get back on track. I think our running game as a whole is going to get back on track. I mean, I got to give credit to the Patriots and the Titans. They really keyed in on this offense. You know, they really keyed in on the running game, forced the Browns to really just start passing the ball a lot. And I wish we were getting Corey Coleman back, but I don't know. It doesn't look like he'll be back. Um, maybe next week against the Jets. That's my best guess. But uh, it'd be a miracle if he came back this week. Which sucks because, you know, we could really use Corey this week. But, um, this should be a good game. Hopefully the Browns can come out with the win. I know I'm, all, I'm doing all this on Monday, but I just want to, I'm, I'm, there's going to be a lot of videos coming out this week. Just a uh, heads up. I'm going to have like four or five videos coming out. <laughs> oh my God. But legit. Dashy coming out here trying to throw fight, you know, trying to start something, which of course, you know, Bengals fans always do that, but they cannot finish. You know? That's the one thing about Bengals, they can't finish. If they if they knew how to finish, they would have had a playoff win a long time ago. But, you know, it's pretty sad when your city is known more for its chili than it is for its football. So anyways, um, I'm done now, you know, I'm Crazy Dog 99, go Browns, screw the Bungles, yeah, it's another thing, you know your team sucks when there is a word that's made up about your team, you know, it's not in the dictionary, or I mean, it could be in the NFL dictionary, but yeah, if you looked up Bungles in the dictionary, There'd be a face of a crying Bengal fan. Yeah. So, anyways, I'm Crazy Dog 99. Go Browns. Oh yeah, and one more thing. Go Tribe too. Cause Tribe gonna hopefully take that three to nothing lead against Toronto tonight. You know I'll be watching. I know I haven't done a video about the Indians Blue Jays series, but uh. Heck, if we win the series, if we sweep the series, I'm going to do a freaking re... You know I'll be doing a recap video, whether it goes... Whether it ends in four games, five games, six or seven. But anyways, you know, go Browns, go Indians, go Bucks, go Cavs. <laughs> I don't really watch hockey, but still. Yeah, I'm Crazy Dog 99. I rep Cleveland till I die. And I'm out.